The story, about Feng Long, the Chinese phoenix. The phoenix, is probably the most, iconic mythical bird in human history. Multiple cultures, from the ancient Egyptians, Greeks, Chinese, and Arabs, revered the bird. In traditional Chinese culture, the phoenix, referred to, as Feng Long, was seen as a noble bird, that was able to judge, the character, of human beings, and confer blessings on the righteous. The Phoenix, and Chinese Culture In the earliest times, Feng Long, referred not to one bird, but two. Feng, was a male bird, while Long, was a female. Together, they were a metaphor, for the yin, and yang symbol, as well as a representation, of the solemn relationship between, man and woman. Later, Feng, and Long, were combined into a single female bird, and often paired, with a male dragon. This is the Chinese phoenix most commonly recognized today. The Feng Long, played, a key role, in the creation, of the cosmos, according to Chinese mythology. Pangu, the god of creation, is believed to have been, the first living thing to have come forth, from the egg of chaos. Four others followed, a dragon, a chilin, a tortoise, and a Feng Long. These four, are called the Four Spirits. They joined, with Pangu to create, the universe we now know. The bird's composite body parts, are said to represent, different aspects of space. The bird head, for example, represents the sky, while tail, represents the planets, the eyes represent the sun, and the bird's back, symbolizes the moon, wings, represent the wind, and feet, represent the earth. In Chinese mythology, the male, and female aspects of the Feng Long, relate to the philosophical perspective, of yin and yang. Artistic depictions, of the Feng Long bird, date back as far as 8,000 years ago. Images, of the bird, first appeared on jade pottery, bronze, and jade figurines, from the Hongshan culture. These early representations, are often associated with, symbols of good luck. The merging, of the two birds into one, first happened around, the Yuan Dynasty, 1271-1368. Ancient Chinese, classic literature, Shen Hijin, mentions the bird's five colors as, symbols for Confucius' five virtues. The colors, red, green, yellow, black and white are said to represent the virtues, charity, uprightness, knowledge, faithfulness, politeness. The Feng Wang bird, as female representation, came to be, synonymous with the empress. The masculine dragon, came to represent the emperor, 